Hey, it's Earth 1111. I'm Roxanne, your ascension guide. What is ascension into the zero point? So I talk about the zero point a lot on my channel. I haven't really described what it is, but this is going to be a very brief explanation about it. And if you're interested in learning more, of course, I have my course, Stargate Ascension and Alchemy, which I go into detail from start to finish on this and hundreds of other topics. You can check that out. I'll keep it on sale for 24 more hours and that's it. Um, so let's get into the zero point. Now, what is the zero point, first of all? So that is the place of neutral charge, which means it's not in duality, not in polarization. So we can think of the zero point as being that center source field of everything. So every single thing that's ever, ever created has a zero point, and that is its center. So for example, the human, we can say our heart is our zero point. That is where we, when we're in our heart and our heart is open, we are not being pulled into duality. So we have what's called a neutral charge. Um, and of course, every single thing that's ever created has also this neutral charge. So an atom has the neutron. The neutron actually creates the positive and negative polarity, right? The, the proton and the electron. But the neutron that we never hear about ever is actually the most important part of an atom because that is where that creational energy is. So it's not a nothingness zone. What it is, it's almost like you can think of it as the potential of everything exists in the center. That's the creational energy that births itself, right? That births an expression. So whether that is a cell, an atom, right? Us, and the sun, for example, is the, the zero point, the heart of the solar system, right? All of our planets, which are really those polarized energies and the sun being the neutral center point. So everything has that zero point. Now this, so the ascension process begins with us being in our heart, which, which is why we always talk about get into your heart, get out of your head, get your frequency up, because all of that does get you closer into your heart. Now that's just step one. Now, once we can be in our heart and have our heart open and be in that neutral point, it's almost like being in that observer state. So what that means is we're not pulled into worrying about something, you know, being triggered by this, going off about this, getting angry about this, right? Our attention isn't in these polarized energies. We are in that center point of the observer. We can sit back and we can also see everything from all perspectives. So the zero point is where you're able, so you're not in a loop of duality, of good versus bad, light versus shadow. Instead, you're able actually to observe, you know, something from all perspectives. So it actually is the point of where you are your, your most powerful. It's that point where you can receive information from the universe. So you want to be in zero point, right? When you're, when you're playing out that duality, that is really a loop that keeps you constantly being pulled into situations, into triggers, into all these things in your exterior. So again, that's just the beginning. So when we can have our heart open for an extended period of time, we can then almost like it's like clicking in. Now our heart stays open. Now we can move to the next level, which is going into the, to the zero point of multiple chakras. And this is called really the beginning of embodiment. So what we begin to do is become in the center of the zero point of multiple chakras, which is really our doorway into higher plasma fields, higher dimensions, higher timelines, higher realities. So when we're able to be in that central still point, we can start to embody higher and higher macrocosmic fields, as well as anchoring them, integrating them. So what that does is we are literally synchronizing with the magnetic fields of higher and higher plasma fields, higher dimensions. So for example, when we can be in such a still point, in that zero point on multiple levels, we can start synchronizing with the actual magnetic field of the sun. And then you start synthesizing and integrating and embodying that 
sun because you become the sun because you match your field. It all is a matter of balance. So that zero point is always the point where you are in balance, where you're now able to step up into higher and higher realities. So remember, the future doesn't really exist. The past doesn't really exist. It's always about when you are in duality, you are in these outside surface level realities, right? It's always a push and a pull, a good versus bad, a feminine versus masculine, light versus dark, all these different opposites. But when you start s synthesizing into zero point, you start being able to be in that center point. Now that's where your power is because you're now able to be in balance with greater and greater macrocosmic realities that are going on around us, right? You're able to syn synchronize with the entire planetary field. And then you go beyond that, right? With the entire solar system field and then the galaxy and then the universe and the multiverse, right? It goes on and on and on. But we also have to then integrate it. So it's always a contraction where then we go, we integrate these fields into our center. Right? It's always about going into center, zero point. We can say the zero point is also the future. So if you want to go to new earth, it's never up here. It's actually in here. And the further you go inside, you will realize there's never an end to it because you go into deeper zero points. Like I said, you go into not just the zero point of your heart, but the zero point of all your chakras, then the zero point of your entire quantum reality, then the zero point of the, right? And so every time you go deeper, you also expand bigger. So it's all a system. And in order for you to now synchronize and synthesize with greater fields like the sun for example you need to go so deep within to anchor that to embody that and integrate that into your field um, so then what happens is we start integrating the microcosmic fields the more that we can go into zero point having our heart open you start being able to go in the zero point of multiple systems so first of, of course it's your own chakras so your chakra and again, there's way more than seven, there's, there's way more than 12, there's really infinite chakras, because your chakra, we can call that the zero point of that field. That's your doorway to that higher field. So when we balance multiple chakras all in a row, what happens is now our entire field ends up becoming one big system. So everything becomes synchronized and we become an even greater field instead of, you know, our little individual reality. So now we start integrating with higher and higher solar systems, galaxies, right? And of course, down to the, to this, at the level of the cell and the DNA and the atom, and it keeps going on and on and on, right? Into, into the neutron, into really, we keep going, right? There's never an end to consciousness. It's always expanding and contracting expanding into macrocosmic greater worlds and contracting into microcosmic worlds. So when you're able to be in the zero point for, for an extended period of time, when you're able to have your heart open, you move to the next level. So it's kind of like you click in and now your heart, your, your consciousness is now coming from the place of your heart. You're now able to come from that center point of multiple chakras. Now what happens is your zero point becomes more than just your heart. You start becoming at the zero point and coming from that quantum level where you come from the center point of every single chakra and then becomes, you come from the zero point of every single atom and microscopic particle. And this is where you start becoming quantum. So you go beyond the crystalline light body into the plasma light body. Now you're existing from not just the heart, but every single particle of your existence, you're coming from that zero point of all of them, all at once. Like I said, ascension is beyond what we even can fathom. So anyways, if you're interested in learning a lot more, beginner or advanced, it doesn't matter because I go from right at the beginning all the way into advanced things over my 20 years of experiencing all this. So this isn't something I read in a book, this is something that I've been through. So if you're interested, I have that course, it'll be on sale for 24 more hours and that's it. 
The link is below in the description. It's Roxanne. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share the video with everybody you know. Subscribe to the channel and come join us on my brand new social platform. It's free and meet your soul friends and family. We'll talk to you soon on Earth 1111. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.